Today at the Barack Obama Academy in Pittsburgh, where the Lamar Woodley Foundation is putting on a first impressions event for kids going back to their first day of school. It's a really cool event. Lamar's gonna be here to talk to everyone. We're gonna go inside and check it out. So basically what's happening here is the Pittsburgh Public Schools Summer Dreamers Academy at school. We want the kids to not only be equipped with feeling good, we also want them to have everything they need. Being prepared for school, you know, looking nice for school, having a nice haircut or, or nails done. So now when they're at school with everybody else, they feel comfortable because now they're like, I got my nails done, I have, I have a haircut. And having the proper things for school, a book bag and school supplies. So when the teacher said, hey, pull out your pencil and paper, I have pencil and paper, so I have to raise my hand saying, I don't have one. I've been that kid, so I know what it feels like to, hey, can you give me a piece of paper? Can you tear me off one? Are you going to go do anything in there today? I'm going to get my nails done. You're going to get your nails done? I'm a single parent, and these were both my children, and I raised both. And when he, people do stuff like that, for me, it, it just shows me that there's real power and hope out there. Mm -hmm. All we need is the adults to step up a little bit more to be the role models that we want our children to be. Thanks, Lamar Woodley, for the amazing things you do on the field and off the field. Yeah, when I'm on the basketball court, uh, I feel free. I can scream if I want to I'm myself. His foundation, Noah's Ark, is teaching kids how self-expression can lead to success. When I first heard Noah's Ark, I thought they were talking about like Noah's Ark. What is Noah's Ark Foundation? Express themselves. Express themselves through basketball and art. To these kids to take part in this in this event. You know, the words and the voice and the actions Joaquin shows to them are really powerful. Positive for yourself and for your community. We want to give kids healthy, safe, constructive outlets. Art and basketball are completely different, but I think that what we're doing, there's a lot of similarities. I believe that everybody's an artist. Celia Road isn't just Joakim's mom. She's also his partner in the foundation. Well, I would say that both my kids were brought up in an art studio, so I'm a sculptor, and with a professional athlete father. So this is really something that my kids have grown. Get these kids from the Queens area and stuff. They come in here, and you're talking to them about inner expression and express themselves through art. What's the reaction usually like from these kids? To dare to be emotive and to talk about your dreams and feelings and fears, they overcome a lot, I think. Mannered, this coach can boast to having five former players in the NBA, including, you guessed it, Joe Keem. I hear the word mentor being tossed around when, when Joe Keem refers to you. You're, you're, you're someone who taught him the game in a way, right? I thought he was gonna get like six, eleven, never. He worked so hard. Watching, you know, the kids having a good time. And